Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So as I'm making this video, I remembered that I've recorded some footage of our friend Esther being here and also our food from last night. So I'm going to include that now and then I'll start our regular day. So you'll see our friend, you'll see some food, you'll see us throwing away our Poff gingerbread house that we made. So, and then we'll start our day for today. So, okay, I'll see you soon, bye. There's the margarita pizza from Kingdo. And here is the onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, some type of special cheese pizza. Looks great. Here's our friend Esther. She traveled a very long ways today. Bye Esther. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year to you. So we are throwing away the gingerbread house. It was great while we had it. It was fun to make. But there it goes. Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So today, Emily and I are going to Meyer and we're going to be making brownies. So Emily asked you yesterday, should we bring brownies or Rice Krispies to the New Year's Eve event that we're going to? And uh, a lot of you said brownies, so we're going to be making some brownies. I don't know what type. We're just going to, you know, get get whatever, get the good ones. They're, all brownies are pretty much good. I like the chunky ones, though, so we might go with that. I don't know, though. And what else? Um, our friend Esther just left. She drove in from... She drove about 10 hours yesterday and she stopped here and spent some time with us and she left this morning. So it was really great to catch up with her just to hear how her life is going. So so we saw her, she just left. And yeah, so that's about all we're doing. We're going to Meijer. Then later tonight, uh, we're going to a friend's house and I I heard they're, they might be making ribs or maybe a tomahawk steak. Sounds good to me. Whatever they, whatever they decide to make, that's awesome. I love it. We're gonna bring some brownies and then artichoke dip and queso dip and Chex Mix. Is that it? Yeah, so that's, we're bringing those things and it's just gonna be good. It'll be fun. I wonder, I haven't really researched to see what they're doing tonight. Are they having a, a, a party or a Christmas Eve thing on television? I don't know, or a ball dropping or something like that. I'm sure they are, but it's probably not open to the public i cannot i wouldn't imagine it being open to the public so but yeah so that's all we're doing we're we're just about to head out and we'll see what we do the rest of today so uh, i will be back very soon bye so we're here at meyer and i've been listening to this podcast called how i built this so yesterday i was cleaning and i decided to listen to npr but then i got bored with it so i switched to how i built this by guy raz by guy raz i think that's whatever so they're talking about how riot games was built and it's so interesting i don't know if any of you know of riot games they made the league of legends and yeah i know probably most of you don't really care or even know but it's it's um, it's a one point. So in 2019, they made 1.5 billion dollars, and they make it's a billion dollar game. And so it's very interesting to hear their story. So this podcast interviews uh, people that have created stuff or have built something that's like a company that's very interesting. So they interviewed the guy who made Panera. They've interviewed all types of people. So it's very interesting, very inspiring, very crazy to think. You know someone had to start it so this is just their story how it started you know someone had to start Meyer. so interesting you know those people that can just make it happen crazy so what a great thing to listen to on new year's eve when you're it's a great it's a i would i would say most people reflect on this day about their life reflect about their goals re reflect about whatever what they want to do in life and I don't think I really want to start a company, but I want to do, I want to be better than I was this year in some way. All Every year I, I would like to do that. So yeah, that's my, I think that's one of, I mean, that is my goals. I've said this before. I just want to do YouTube every day, work on getting into an MBA program, 
and um, just have a better year each year. So I think I want to be more intentional with talking to some people I haven't talked to in a while. So, or be more intentional about calling them uh, this year. So, which I, I feel like I call a lot of people, but there's a few people in my life I want to talk to more and yeah. So, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Listening. We're just, we just had some lunch and we're about to go into Meyer. and uh, just thinking about New Year's Eve, thinking about, so our friend that just came to, our, stayed with us, she, she has a lot of deep thoughts and she's been thinking about her goals, making a list of how it's going to make it happen. She even mentioned a dream board. So, which I think Alex does that from Peter and out Al- Peter Mon, Peter Mon's husband, Alex. I think he has a vision board or dream board or something. Hey, that's awesome. I don't have that, but I think that's really, that's a really good idea. Or she'll have like a word that she wants to stick to and it's something that she tries to improve on. So I think last year was intentionality for her, I think, maybe. Manifest. Oh, manifest. Oh, that was that her word or what she tries to... Yeah, she was trying to manifest what she wanted to happen. Oh, manifest. Which I think Peter talks about that, manifesting. So does Oprah, manifesting what you want to happen. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's true. I I really don't think it's like, I think it's just if you, okay, in my opinion, manifesting is you just constantly working towards it, thinking about it, which will manifest it. I don't think it's anything, you know, that makes it happen. It's just you daily thinking about it gets you to that point. So, but yeah, and and she talked about, uh, she told us we should read Untamed and maybe we'll do that. Emily will read it. I might listen to it on Audible, Untamed. Do you know who it's by? I don't know. I don't know. But very, she has the person who made it is a very interesting, has a very interesting story and uh, sounds like a great book to read. So I might listen to that in the next month or so. And yeah, so lots of thoughts, very interesting conversations we had with our friend. And I'm sure we'll have more interesting conversations later tonight i would really like to know oh it it's sold by glennon doyle glennon doyle that's yeah who wrote it. that's who wrote it <clears throat> so I'm, I'm kind of interested to see uh what one of our friends goals are um later tonight so they're they're very um like how do you how do you describe them they're very inspiring <clears throat> so they're a very inspirational person and you know I, I just want to know what their goals are because he's th- that person I'm thinking about they're definitely someone who would do something like this uh, how I uh, they would be on a podcast about how I built this you know someone who would probably make a company or just do something really interesting so but yeah so that's what we're doing that's what we're thinking about that's what I'm thinking about and we're about to go into Meyer now. So, okay, we'll be right back. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, it's been a, kind of a snowy day. So there's some, it was, there was more snow on the ground earlier, but you can see the snow right there. So kind of a snowy day, nice day. I like snow for a short time, you know? I like it just long enough for me to get the taste of it and to remember what it looks like and feels like but after that I'm done but that's probably just me living in the Midwest for almost 10 years now in Virginia you know it'll snow a little bit but not not nearly as much as this so Virginia has kind of like a I would say maybe the East Coast North Carolina South Carolina I don't know if South Carolina gets that much snow but Virginia and North Carolina they have all a very distinct all four seasons you know it's not too much of anything besides rain i feel like it rains a lot in my hometown especially in the summer or the beginning of summer so okay well that's all i'll be back and i'll talk to you very soon bye so we are back from meyer it was very very crazy it's honestly the craziest i've seen it since probably the fourth of july it's just crazy in there 
Granted, it is Chris or New Year's Eve, so, and I'm pretty sure I saw this lady stealing a bunch of stuff. Whatever. I mean, that's her problem. So, um, but yeah, so now we're going back to the apartment and, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Nothing too interesting. We're going to make some brownies and, uh, then get ready to go. We got some spinach artichoke to make, spinach artichoke dip to make. So we're going to bake that and that's about it. Then we'll enjoy the Christmas or the New Year's Eve night. So there's a Chick-fil-A over here and it is crazy. It's, there's a, it's just packed, it's just backed up. It's, it's blocking the road and it just blows my mind. That's even allowed. But whatever, people love their Chick-fil-A. It's just a huge line. It's, again, it's a holiday. It's the holiday season, so. Okay, I will see you very soon and I'll be back, bye. So here's something kind of interesting. I got some gloves for pumping gas. Isn't that so interesting? Myers Gas has uh, these gloves to protect. It says, please take a glove, protect yourself, and others. Gas mitts. How interesting. So I took a gas mitt in order to get some gas. That's cool. I've never seen this. I'm not sure. I mean, it's kind of like wearing, it's kind of like wearing uh, grocery bags. So, all right, I'll talk to you later, bye. So we're here back at the apartment and if you're still watching, comment down below, sweet potato. Sweet potato, I got the sweet potato. So here is, uh, here are some earrings that our friend Esther made for Emily. Aren't they so nice? They're handmade. They're made out of clay. She, she made them in her oven or I think that's what she did. So those are really cool. And when, uh, when Esther was here, she asked us thinking about New Year's Eve, she asked us the questions of, um, which, I, which we think they're really good questions. And I wanna ask them to you as well. So what is something that you want to stop doing, start doing and continue doing for 2021? So I'll ask, I'll ask it again. So what are three things that you want to, no, just one thing. So what is something that you want to start doing, stop doing, and continue doing for 2021? Maybe I'll answer that tomorrow. I'll, I'll have my answer tomorrow. So let me know down below. I think that's a really good question. I've never thought of that ever in that way at the beginning of the year. So, but those are great questions to ask. Um, yeah, some food for thought for today. Now I'm going to get started on making brownies and we have to go in a few hours to get, or for the blah, blah, to the New Year's Eve party. So that's where we're going. I'm gonna get started in doing that. I'm gonna to try to just chill. It's gonna be a long night because, you know, we, we gotta watch the ball drop, which will be super fun. Man, I miss, I miss the uh, New Year's Eve parties or the thing on television. I hope they have something. I hope they do, so. Okay, I'll see you very soon, bye. Hey everyone, so now I am making some brownies. So I'm making the Chocolate Chunk Supreme, or Supreme Chocolate Chunk by Betty Crocker. Sounds good. It's, a, it's the only one that had chocolate chips in them, so that I found. Dun my mom really prefers Duncan Hines cake mixes and brownie mixes. I don't really think I have an opinion. So whatever. I mean, this looked good. It sounded good. I looked for Duncan Hines that had chocolate chips in them, but they didn't have any, at least at Meyer that I'm at. So I just went with this one. I think it's gonna be great. Honestly, I feel like brownie mixes kind of all taste the same. I can't really tell the difference between your fudgy brownies and your Supreme or whatever, whatever dark chocolates. I can't tell any difference at all. So they all just taste like brownies to me. So 
and it's so easy. You know, the, the, these boxes really make everything super easy. I don't use them too often, but with brownies, I mean, who's gonna make homemade brownies? You know, that's that sounds like so much work. Why do that when I can just buy this? So you need a fourth a cup of water, a third a cup of oil, and one egg. So I got my oil here. I had to measure it on this thing because I don't. this Pyrex doesn't have a third a cup on there. Actually, I think it does. It's this little mark right here, but I just wanted to be sure. It, and I'm sure it does, actually, now that I'm looking at it. But I just measured out 78 milliliters. I accidentally put 82 in there. So I'm just going to do that. There's my oil. And I need a fourth a cup of water. And I'm going to put this back on me. And one egg. So I'm going to be talking. Let me see. What can I talk about while I'm doing this? Well, one of uh, my one of my favorite memories of New Year's Eve is when we did New Year's Eve with our friends Chris and Kirsten from Always Us. Now this was a while ago. This was probably five years ago, four years ago. And we they had us over at their apartment. Looking back on it, we might have probably should have hosted it because their apartment was really small. Ours was too, but probably a little bit bigger than theirs. But it was super fun. A very young married couple. I remember Chris worked at this awesome pizza place. Oh, I miss it so much. Nancy's Pizza. Here's the deal. Nancy's Pizza has the I would say, I would say the best Chicago pizza. Now, I don't really care about Chicago deep dish, but Nancy's deep dish, that's awesome. So, <clears throat> and if it means anything, I used to work for the Bear, Chicago Bears, and a lot of times the Chicago Bears would order Nancy's pizza. If that, you know what I mean? Like, they're not over here ordering Giordano, Giordelli's, Giordano's, whatever it's called, Uno's, that's nasty. They order Nancy's because it's the best. It's awesome. I love Nancy's pizza. So Chris worked at Nancy's. He brought home a pizza or two, and we hung out. We played some game. Did we play a game, Emily? Do you remember? Do you remember what we played? Do we play Catan? Uh, we might have played catchphrase. We might have. I think we we just hung out, had fun. I feel like we played a card game. We might have. And it was just a good old grand time. And I remember that pizza. He didn't. I don't think he got a deep dish, but he got a. Uh, maybe he did. I don't know. Either way, it's good. I'm a. Here's the deal. I'm not a big thin crust person. And I okay. I don't know if this is a Midwest thing. Or something but people in this area cut their pizzas into squares and it's real weird so I think they did that at Nancy's it's like why are we doing this just cut it into a normal pizza slice you know if you're watching TV or you're watching a cartoon you don't see cartoons eating a square pizza like what in the world you see them eating a normal pizza but out here it's like people out here cutting their pizzas into squares and all this weird stuff and it does change the taste of it, in my opinion, because I like a crust. So we got the brownie mixed up. I feel like I feel like this is super dense. Maybe not. Maybe it's just whatever. Maybe it's good. It's exactly what it needs to be. One of my every time I make brownies, I think of the show Drake and Josh uh, from Nickelodeon, <clears throat> and Josh. Um, he made brownies or something, and he didn't cook them all the way through because I don't remember the episode, what, what it was about, but I remember Josh taking the brownies out of the oven early and calling it brownie pudding and eating the brownie batter. And I thought that was the most amazing thing ever, and it made me want to do that when I was a little kid. Let's see, what else? Uh, so what I used to do for every year for Christmas Eve, probably after high school, maybe maybe even in junior high, we would go over to one of my our family's friend's house. We would stay up until the ball dropped, 
and we would play Canasta or Phase 10 all night. That was really fun. So we play a card game. We might watch a movie. I don't think so. I think we just played a card game the entire time. It was cool. It was fun. Besides that, I really don't have... I really don't know what else we would do. Hmm. I think once... I think a few times we've been at Emily's parents' house for New Year's. Maybe even my parents' house, but I don't think we were. No, I don't think we have been. So... But yeah, I really do like uh, Esther's questions of what is uh, something, what are, what's one thing we can start this year, one thing you want to stop doing this year, and one thing you want to continue doing this year. That's a, that's a good question to ask. Well, I think my brownie mix is done and my uh, oven is, is about to beep. Um, let's see. Okay, you want to know something really interesting? I don't know why electric ovens do this. So it hasn't beeped yet. But if I open this oven door, even the one I grew up with did this, and I've been at other people's houses and I try it just to see if it does this. When I open this door and wait maybe five to 10 seconds, I'm going to open it and then close it. And then five to 10 seconds, it's going to beep. Oh, dang it, it did it already. Okay, so sometimes... I'm just gonna show you this. I don't know if anyone even cares. It will say preheat. Okay, when it's not preheat, when it was still preheating. But uh, I can hear it click. And then once it clicks, if I open it and close it immediately, within five to 10 seconds, it will go to, it will beep and be ready to go. My theory of that is there is a, this is my theory, I don't know if this is real. I think there's a sensor for the temperature somewhere up here at the top of the oven. And when I open that door, it releases, a, it releases hot air that makes that sensor feel like it's at the correct temperature, even though it may not be. Probably a flaw on a lot of these ovens. It's not really a flaw, who cares? You know, it's, it's whatever. So, oh, I say it's whatever a lot now. Wow, okay, I'm just realizing that. Yeah, if I, yeah, I put it on my merch. Who knows? I probably won't have merch. So, but that's funny. Here's the deal. Instead of me, if I ever, if I ever got to a point of having merch, I would, I would, uh, it would just be a stock you can buy that you can't sell for 10 years. So it'd be like, oh yeah, buy this, buy this stock. And you can't, it's like going to be an investment thing. I don't want no one buying merch for me. So, okay, well, that's all for today. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to bake these in this really big pan. I got the wrong size pan for this. This is embarrassing. Are you ready? They're going to be really thin. This is really high, but whatever. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fudgy. It's going to bake up a little bit. So I think it'll be great. Well, that's all for today. If no one's told you this, you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.